Uh, this is my setup. Um, requested. Um, hasn't changed. Uh, I trade the same setup for maybe past three years. Um, so I'm gonna keep it nice and sweet. Uh, today was a perfect example of uh, how I prep and the type of trades I take. So um, basically, this is a mandatory no questions asked. Uh, every day before I trade, these are the small steps that need to be done. And uh, these are habits that turn into routine. So um, I use these levels in confluence with volume, price action, structure, the 9, 20, and 50 EMA, uh, and the VWAP, all on the five minute chart. Um, these indicators are on the five minute chart. Um, you know, uh, everything's basic, basic fundamentals, no, uh, no long above VWAP and no short uh, below VWAP. Um, you know, uh, quick, quick checklist, um, mark your pre-market highs, pre-market lows mark your previous day high previous day low uh you know i like to plot anywhere between six to seven levels max i don't like too many levels on my chart six to seven levels max um you know uh we don't want the chart overpopulated with too many levels um and for mondays uh usually these are the levels i scout for pre-market high uh pre-market low previous day high previous day low and if I can't find my levels there, I'll break it down from, um, you know, the four hour to the one hour. So um, hopefully this kind of kind of gives you uh, an idea. I'll go ahead and uh, switch it over to tr uh, trading view and uh, do it with you guys. So it's a little bit more um, hands on. As we go, you see, you know, we'll go from top to bottom. I'll kind of uh, pinpoint what I plotted here you know this is an all-time high very important um, previous day high so this is Friday's high uh, this is pre-market high and then we have uh, Friday low which is the previous day low and then pre-market low I felt that was uh, sufficient enough uh, levels uh, to plot you know if you wanted you could also um, go ahead and plot this low right here but uh yeah so those are the levels i plot um you know uh so this is uh i trade es intraday uh i use uh spy levels to trade uh, es uh spy is uh cash market es is futures market so let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, go ahead and start plotting what we what we spoke about, um, you know, and we'll go down the checklist. Um, something to keep in, uh, in mind, confluencing factors equal key zones and levels, price action, volume, structure and trend, uh, EMAs, VWAP and uh, the movement of NQ, NVIDIA, Apple and Microsoft. I need confluencing factors. I need them to move in uh, the same direction, right? So uh, we'll, go, we'll go ahead and start this pre-market low. Pre-market high. Previous day high. Uh, previous day low. Previous day low and then um, this all time high. Exactly what we have uh, have on the ES. And then we added this last one on the ES right here, this low. So, um, you know, uh, I use these levels. These levels in, in confluence with uh, price action and volume. So depending on what happens when we get to these levels, what price action and volume does is gonna kind of predict uh and kind of it's gonna predict the reaction that i'm gonna have when we get to those key levels and uh you know the view app is gonna help me uh, as far as no longs unless we're above and no shorts unless we're below uh and uh, i'm waiting for clean breaks um using the five minute 
for my charting and using the one minute for my entries. So let's go ahead and uh, see what happens when we let it, uh, as we let the day unfold, right? As we go, <coughs> we can see that uh, the day started bullish, right? But when we came to a pre-market high, what happened is we rejected. And look at the type of rejection. It wasn't just, uh, it was not just a, a slight rejection, right? It was not a slight rejection. And uh, it failed to continue to go up and the following candle was a decent sized uh, red candle, right? But uh, that's not enough for me to get in yet, right? not enough to, for me to get in I cannot get in unless uh, on a short side unless we're below the view app right one thing for sure I know uh, I'm not going long unless we break above this um, that's one thing for sure 100% we are not going long unless we break above the pre-market high <clears throat> uh, as we start to reject uh, we have three bar reversal and we start to push down um, we have a clean break below the view app. This is where um, I like to get in personally, right? For me, uh, and most call it a cheap short, right? Uh, because uh, what happens is uh, you get in on, the, on a clean break of the view app and you put a stop, your stop loss on the clean break above, right? Uh, the important Important, important, important part about um, taking trades off of the VWAP is waiting for the clean break, right? Waiting for the clean break. And um, as soon as you get that clean break, uh, you can ride it and, and use the 9 EMA to guide you, right? And you can hold this trade until um, you get to uh, your key zones that you plotted, right? For example, uh, the pre-market low or previous day low and uh, that would be a beautiful trade off from the VWAP down to the uh, pre-market low and that's uh, pretty much the trade I took today right that's pretty much the trade I took today um, that is pretty much the trade I took today so if uh, we look at it here guys So if we look at it, nine, uh, time is, uh, look at the time of entry and the clean break of the VWAP using the VWAP as a stop loss, a clean break above the VWAP as a stop loss and continuing to stay in the trade and moving my stop with the VWAP, right? Until we get to our key zone, right? Which is the pre-market low or previous day low, I'm sorry. Right? And these are the type of trades I take every day. Let's, uh, let me show you on the TOS chart. <coughs> so, If you take a look at the, uh, oh, I think we're still in chart, uh, SPY, right guys? So, pre-market high, previous day high, all-time high, uh, previous day low, pre-market low, right? So, this is when we entered into the trade. So, the day was looking bullish, we we're starting to push, uh, we broke above the VWAP. We were uh, continuing to stay above the 9. As soon as we hit the pre-market high, if we would have had a clean break above the pre-market high, I would have entered into a long, taken my first TP at the previous day high, and ultimately looking for an uh, all-time high. But that didn't happen. This is why we stay patient. We wait for clean breaks before we enter, especially when we're at key zones, right? 
Um, this would have been uh, would have been good if we would have had a clean break above the pre-market high. A lot of people, um, what I've seen is uh, they say, oh, I get faked out and uh, whatnot, right? It's because they're not waiting for the clean break. They're seeing that the candle is going in, wicking it, and they're thinking that that's breaking the level, but that's not breaking the level. Um, soon as I see this uh, rejection off the pre-market high, uh, I watch the following candle and uh, I see a nice, nice red engulfing candle. And of course, it's gonna um, find some support at the 9 EMA. Uh, the following candle breaks the nine, breaks the VWAP, uh, breaks the 20, all in one candle. This is my entry point. Uh, this is my entry point and like I said with the stop right with the stop um, with the stop with the stop uh, my stop loss would be a clean break above the 9 MMA and uh, getting into the short letting the 9 guide you uh, I would add in every time that the 9 EMA breaks uh, EMA. Uh, as it crosses here, I would add in, and as we break and cross the 50, I would have added in as well. Uh, ultimate TP would probably more than likely be um, pre-market low, and then holding runners, uh, moving my stop with the 9, and waiting for a clean break above the 9 before complete completely exiting, right? And these are uh, the type of trades that I take every day. I use the EMAs to guide me. I use key zones and levels uh, with confluencing uh, price action volume. Also, we cannot forget uh, NVIDIA, Microsoft, uh, NASDAQ, and Apple. I need them all to be uh, confluencing as well. On this trade, all of them were confluencing except for Apple. Apple was uh, cont continuously bullish, but NASDAQ, uh, was uh bearish microsoft was bearish and nvidia was bearish so that was uh three out of the four were bearish so the confluencing factors as far as the market in all in a whole it was uh bearish at that time and f uh for me to take a short i need the market to be in confluence with the direction that i'm taking um yeah these are the type of trades I, uh, I take every, uh, every day using the EMAs to guide and, uh, you know, key zones and levels uh, to enter and exit. Uh, hopefully that helps you out. Hopefully this uh, video brings uh, some understanding to how I trade. I've traded this way for, you know, a handful of years. Uh, Price action volume, 9 EMA, 20 EMA, 50 EMA, VWAP, um, and then I use uh, the MAG7 as uh, confluencing factors. Uh, today was Monday, so something very, very, very important I want to throw out there. It was Monday, I wanted to ease into the week. Notice what I traded. Notice what I traded uh, because I wanted to ease into the week. Um, you know, I uh, stayed in the, stayed in the trade until, um, you know, I felt that it was right. Uh, yeah, we could have got more. Yeah, we could have got less. Ultimately, the target was pre, uh, previous day low. We broke below that. And, uh, you know, of course we missed some. Sometimes we don't get it all. Uh, but it is what it is. I'm happy with the trade. It was a Monday. I stayed, uh. I stayed diligent. I stuck to my rules. Um, you know, I did switch over to paper trading after this, and I did trade some more. So I did. I guess you can say I did over trade. But as far as my uh, funded accounts and copy trader, uh, this was the only trade that I took today. This was the only trade I took today, and I'm happy with it. Um, you know, uh, this is a setup I trade uh, day in day out. I keep it simple. All I'm doing is trading level to level, guys. That's all I'm doing. Um,
yeah that's what it is guys that's what it is if you guys have any questions or if there's any other videos you guys want me to put out uh, i'll be more than happy uh trade safe trade smart and i'll catch you guys uh catch you guys soon